Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the markets, essentially what I was looking for, a trade that I would have liked to get in pre-market, and also a trade that we saw that was kind of against the trend, but I kind of want to dive deep into what my thoughts were on that particular trade. So with that being said, we are going to start on the daily time frame and we'll have some fun. So let's get started. All right. So we're on the daily time frame here. Now, this week's been a little bit tricky. One, because it's NFP week, right? So tomorrow is NFP. Yesterday we had FOMC news release. And it's just been kind of a interesting week because we're trading from a couple of higher time frame PDRAs. So on the weekly time frame, I'll jump up to that really quick. We actually traded off of this weekly fair value gap here. So I wanted to see the market potentially trade lower but we're stopped by this daily fair value gap. So we're kind of in this weekly order block here because we had that nice reaction off that weekly order block before into that weekly fair value gap and now we're kind of going down. So really what I'm looking for is somewhat of a direction, right? But I think the more I think about it is I am a day trader, so I trade the daily range, right? And I'm looking for setups that get to areas of liquidity and it could be internal liquidity or external liquidity but I'm basically trading the daily range because I am a day trader so I'll drop down to the daily again so this week we had Monday we traded into that weekly fair value gap not taking out these highs so Tuesday we seen like this crazy drop which would have been nice to capitalize on. However, we did not find a trade that matched our setup. And then Wednesday was FOMC. And as you can see, we actually traded all the way up and we hit the low of this candle. So we sort of had an immediate, immediate rebalance there on the daily time frame, which was kind of cool to see. And then we came all the way back down. Now, my drawn liquidity this morning was, of course, these this Wednesday low here and we did in fact trade down into that Wednesday low but then we are moving higher now and I think this is kind of where it comes in play of hey I'm a day trader I'm trading the daily range so we could have profited on this run lower and then of course the run higher into the 50% range which I'll kind of show you when we get down to the lower time frames but this morning my drawn liquidity was the Wednesday low and unfortunately we traded to that before my trading window of 10 a.m. So let's drop down to the one hour. Yes, the Wednesday was pretty crazy for the FOMC. The fact that we traded up and then all the way back down filling in that range right away and then never taking out that low here. So that was one of the reasons I wanted to see this low taken. Plus, I like how we traded back up into the Wednesday's range. As you can see, we came back up into that 50% level before we started to move lower during London. And seeing that gave me indication that I wanted to see, of course, this Wednesday taken. But let's drop down to the lower time frames here. And we can see that the market did, in fact, want to start moving lower at 930. And then we did have somewhat of a retracement back higher before ultimately hitting our Wednesday low. And again, that is totally fine. But something I could have done was like switch gears. Now that we took out the Wednesday low, again, it's NFP week, so I didn't want to be too crazy considering tomorrow we're gonna have some nice runs. Not nice runs, just very exaggerated runs. <laughs> Something I could have done was switch gears, been like, hey, we took out the Wednesday low. Now we're gonna be trading back into that 50% of that range. So of course I marked the high to the low of Thursday's trading range. 
and I wanted to see if we could push back up into that 50% level. So I'll drop down to the lower time frames here. Again, my trade would have been here, but of course that was a pre-market trade. And we did not capitalize on this one before it took out our Wednesday low there, which was like a hundred point run. So again, that's fine. But yeah, we were kind of just watching to see what we were doing here. And I do like how we came down into this kind of order block here and it's below that 50% range. So we could take buys in discount and then sells in premium. So this was kind of what my trade was building up to be. Let's go down to the one minute. So we took out those Wednesday lows. We traded up kind of above that 50%, sold off again, was unable to take this low before moving higher. And then of course we had that five minute order block. We also had this inversion one minute fair value gap that I was looking at. And I think this could have been a really nice trade here. We came down to that inversion fair value gap. It is below that 50% level of the, of course, Thursday's trading range. So I figured, hey, we could take out these short term relative equal highs right here. And the market did in fact offer that to us during our 1050 macro here. And now you can see the market has been trading lower, comes up to those OTE levels and now is like going lower. But something I'm trying to do, trying to learn is more kind of day trading, not really going for that daily range, but essentially going for those easy liquidity runs. So the fact that we took out this Wednesday high we had that run, now we have that break in market structure here. Not taking out this low, but we did have like the market come out, take out this low. And at the same time, when this run was happening, the DXY was trading lower. So that kind of gave us some confluence. And this could have been a really nice kind of counter trend idea. But personally, after I saw the Wednesday low taken out, I just kind of was like sat on my hands. I'm like, okay, that's I'm not going to take a trade today and tomorrow is NFP and next week is a new week. So essentially, I just decided to not take a trade today after taking out these Wednesday lows because there's always going to be another day to trade and there's always going to be another week to trade and I don't want to feel like I'm in a rush to get into a trade plus it's NFP week. So with that being said, I'm just gonna lay low, kind of watch the markets unfold, but wait for next week to offer us some better setups, hopefully. <laughs> so with that being said, I hope you guys kind of liked this video. I hope you got something from it. We did have a sort of setup, I would say, but this was just me price tape reading price and seeing how we would react to these levels. And considering it was the 1050 macro, I did want to see these highs taken out because that was like our drawn liquidity, especially after taking out that higher time frame liquidity. Going into next week, we're gonna be trying to do a little bit more day trading and essentially, hopefully, get some better setups. <laughs> Yes, yes. <clears throat> but that is all for me. It was a quick, sweet, short video. And I will see you all next week with some hopefully better trade setups. Again, it is NFP tomorrow, so be careful. We have NFP at 8.30 a.m. It could be chaotic, so just be careful. And I will see you all next week. Bye for now.